Let's go! Wait, Kiko! Where are you going? It's time for the Little Farmer Show! Hey, everyone! I'm Kiko! Hey! I'm Tava! Yay! I'm T Tiki! Hello! It's me, Rob! Yippee! Hey! I am Maisie! Maisie, stop running! Hello, lovelies! My name is Carol. And welcome to another episode of the Little Farmer Show. I am your host, Hava. And I'm Larry. We're still here at Masheda Mix Farm and we're going to have a wonderful adventure in their garden. Would you please join us as we find Mr. Norman? And make sure to join our club, the Little Farmers Club, our website. We also are on our social media handles. It's on the screen. Let's go! I'm excited to see what amazing things we have on this farm. Mm, sure. No. So many things. I mean, why not? I mean, why not? Oh, hi, Javi. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Norman. Mr. Yes, how are I'm you? I'm so excited to see what you have on this farm. Happy to see you again. Uh, mm. Still on Masheda Mixed Farm. Yes. Uh, this is our garden, uh, the spice garden, and uh, for the vegetables. Yeah, I hope you know all these spices we have around. The ones you don't know, you ask, right? Yeah. Is this mint? I can smell mint. Yeah, we have different... It smells so good. We have different spices around. Uh, that one you're asking, this is a strawberry choc uh, strawberry mint. Then this one is strawberry. chocolate mint. Then the other one is... Uh, this one is uh, spear mint. Spear mint. Mint. Strawberry mint. The no, chocolate no. is this one. Chocolate? And the, the strawberry is this one. Show me, you want to smell? Wow. You, you feel they have different smell tests? Yes, they yeah, do. Yeah, let me do combine. Let me okay. do combine. <laughs> okay, these are the spices they use for the teas, for the herbal medicine. So this is the original mint? Yes, that's the original. Because Organic no? mint. So how do they make strawberry mint, <laughs> chocolate mint and organic? Is it like, do they, um, how do I explain it? Like put two together to Go. make a different flavor? No, 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 no. They don't mix the, 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 the spices, but it depends on the natural. taste you want. If you want the taste of the chocolate, you use the chocolate mint. If you want the taste of the spear mint, you use the, the peppermint differently. But there are some teas where you find they mix in, uh, like these drinks, the cocktail drinks, where yes. they mix in using peppermint and, uh, mm. and chocolate mint together. Or you find they have spear mint and chocolate mint together. Yes. Yes. Do you, uh, do you know all these other spices you see around? No. Like that one, that's lavender. Do you know lavender? Lavender? You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Lavender chocolate. La lavender. What's wow, this is lavender. Lavender, for every home must have this because it, uh, it has a lot of uses and uh, like if you plant it around the home, it chases away the mosquitoes. Did you know that? No, oh, I didn't know that. Or if you've ever seen the repellents that they make, you see that flavor of lavender written on the bottles. This is what they use. Did you hear that, little farmers? Lavender can chase away mosquitoes. Then we go to, to the other ones. Uh, that is thyme. You know thyme? It's no. also another uh, good special, uh, a special spice. What you see over there, that is uh, spinach. Yes. We have spinach, we have uh, dodo, we have uh, spring onions there, yeah. over there. Then those are uh, lettuce, where red are lettuce. Where are the lettuce? They are far in. They are there. Yes. Okay, that's lettuce. Then the next one is parsley. Mm. Ah, do you know what this is? Sweet potato. No, 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 no not sweet potato. <laughs> it's called watermelon. No, this is uh, what? pumpkin. You know oh, pumpkin? This is pumpkin. Yes. So the pumpkins are inside. Yeah, they are still growing. Like you can see, these are flowers coming out. So do, it will, do the pumpkins after, grow on top? After the, no, on the stem here. After the flower, then the pumpkin will come are out. Are pumpkins fruits? <laughs> they are, yeah, they are kind of fruits, but it's a vegetable. Yes. It's a vegetable. They look like a fruit, but it's a vegetable. Oh. Then what we have here is red pepper, uh, hot pepper. We use this, hot, this hot is the spices. hot ones. Yes, yes. Very hot, very, very Even hot. One, uh, Actually, after same. touching it, don't touch your eyes. Even the outside you can, is hot. You can feel it, yeah. 
I want to wash my hands now. What a mistake. Yeah, you will wash it first. Are these beans? Yeah, those are beans. Joke on the bean stock. Uh, it's a different type of bean uh, that can grow in a small area. Like you can see, yeah, one bean can give you yield for you like half kilo or a kilo of beans. A whole so kilo. if you have like a small garden like wow. this, you can be able to harvest like 20 kilos in a small garden like this. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so you see it has started putting on flowers, so it will put the beans on the stems. Yeah. I heard you say kidney beans. Kidney beans. There are, there are different types of beans. We have kidney beans, we have red beans, white beans, oh, yellow beans. Wow. Uh, I didn't know there were that many oh, types. There are very, very, very many, hold many up. beans. Hold up, hold up. Kidney beans. I can yes. see that some caterpillars need on the beans. The caterpillars are, uh, since it's organic, we are trying to control them using our urine that we collect from the mm, rabbits. Rabbit. So we spray around them so that we keep it organic. So they are the ones that control the pests here. Do the rabbit, does the rabbit's urine control all plant diseases and pests? No. Not all, but no. some of, most of the, of the, of the pests are here. And do you know what, the, what are these? Yeah, these are spring oh, onions. The spring onions. They always put on. We have them at home. Yeah, okay. There are two different types. There are many different types of, of onions. Mm. This is not a red onion. Mm. Uh, if I can check for you, there is a red onion here. Red onion? Uh, it's, uh, for this one, we use the stem. We use the, 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 the potato down. Yes. The real red onion. And then yes, the other ones, we use the stems and the leaves. Mm. Yes. I like, this is really cool, man. I could eat this. But it's not yet ready. See, it's too small. Too small? We could put this in burgers. <laughs> put this in burgers. Come closer. Uh, this plant you see here, this is a baby mallow. Ah, plant. Yeah, you can see them here. They are still young, but uh, this is a baby mallow. You have eggplant. Looks like an eggplant. Yeah, it looks like an eggplant. No, it, it's quite different from an eggplant. I will show you the eggplant. It's far, it's there. Plant you check on it there. Then the other one is uh, green pepper. Do you know green pepper? Yes, I do. I can see it. Yes, yes. Do, do plants lay eggs? No. Larry, uh, you maybe you asking... do not know an eggplant. You are still watching The Little Farmer's Show, your host Larry and Hava. We are going to another interesting part of the garden. By the way, it's still Little Farmers. You can join us and be a part of the Little Farmers family by checking our social media platforms to find out how. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my first time seeing a strawberry plant. I present to you strawberries. Whoa, those are strawberries? Yeah. <coughs> you How can try to... Does it take to have a strawberry? Strawberries take, uh, if you plant, uh, it takes you three, four months. Then it starts yielding the, the fruits. Mm. You can see this one. Mm. Have, have this. Have the strawberries were eaten, they are being eaten by monkeys. Do you know what is this plant? Let me try no. guessing. Let me try guessing. Let me try guessing. Let me, okay. let me look at it. Cucumber. No, not cucumber. Avocado. No, not avocado. This is I okra. I can't tell. It's a vegetable. It's, it's, a, it's called? It has a lot of insects. This is okra. Okra. Yeah, this is okra plant. I don't think I've the, eaten okra before. It has yeah, a lot of insects on it. Yeah, the insects are climbing because, uh, like I told you, it's organic. We don't always spray uh, the, the, the pesticide. So yes. they, they, and they like it. Uh, but we use the other organic Rabbit fertilizers to, to, to chase them away. Yes. And, uh, Are these peppers? Uh, this is hot pepper. Wow. Uh, uh, when you touch it, don't touch your eyes, please. Is this it's one very, ready? Yeah, that one is ready. Even the green one is ready. It's very ready. Some are green. Yeah, others are green. They will also turn into that. That's Some are yellow also. Yeah, the yellow ones. Uh, others are yellow, others are, are red, uh, but they will all turn red. From green to yellowish, then turn it to red. Mm. Red completely. Green is yes. not ready yet, right? 
and then here we come. Uh, this is real camulari pepper. Camulari. Camulari. You know camulari? Yes. Kamulari. This is also very hot. Kabanga. Yes, uh, I yes, know. yes. This is the real <laughs> Israel pepper, you know. Yes. Uh, then what we have there is the. Do you know katunkuma? You know what is katunkuma? No. Uh, in English, uh, they are called wild eggplants. Yeah, but when we were young, we used to collect them and call them babies. Oh, I didn't know they were. Call, <laughs> them babies. This looks weird. It yes, looks like rice. Yeah. It looks like rice. Yeah. Yeah, don't try it. Don't touch your eyes. Uh, it's very hot. Hot rice. It's hot rice, eh? Wow, I've seen so many things I've never seen before uh, in I've the garden. I've seen more tomato before, but it's green. It's supposed to be like bright red. The tomato? Yeah, it will, when, it, when it matures, it will turn into red. Mm. Yes. So little farmers, I bet you had a good time with Larry and Hava in the spice garden. So here are some spice facts. Our first fact is lavender. The sweet aroma of lavender. This spice is used in cosmetics, even in desserts, and also in the drinks that you love. Our second fact today is about two different spices. Now, the most expensive spice in the world is called saffron. And the most used spice in the world, and I know some little farmers love it, is black pepper. Our third fact today is about a sweet smelling spice. And this one, you enjoy a lot in your desserts and in your beverages. Cinnamon. Now, I'll let you in on a secret. Cinnamon has been used the longest in the world for so many, many years. And finally, do you know which country uses the most spices in the world? Can you guess? It's India. So little farmers, we have seen so many spices in the Madesha Spice Garden. And now it's time for us to share our four favorite spices. Larry, you go first. My first favorite spice has to be black pepper. It, guess what it originates from? Um, India. Why do you like black pepper? It adds flavor to the food and it helps with conservation. All right. My second favorite spice is lemongrass, also known as chisubi. <laughs> wow, Larry, you're doing well with your, with your Luganda. Well done. So, Larry, what's black pepper in Uganda? Kamulali or mudagavu? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and my third favorite spice is garlic powder. Food is tasteless without garlic powder. How about the smell? Doesn't it, doesn't it get It adds a flavorful in Roma. And my fourth favorite spice is holy basil. Hmm. What hmm. is holy basil? It's mojaja in Uganda. Oh. Wow, I did not know that it had an English name. This is yeah. so interesting. Yeah. And how do you like it? I I like it in writing. All right. It helps. It helps a lot when I have a stomach. So well done, Larry. I didn't know that you'd know that many spices, especially even their translations in Uganda. Yeah. Really did your research. Now, little farmers, you can visit us on our social media platforms and tell us your favorite spices. Since I told you my tofu, what are your tofu? Let me start off with this one, coriander. It's also called cilantro. Now, Larry, a stew isn't complete. Let me repeat, a stew is not complete without this spice. You can either use it in seed form or just the leaves. I prefer the leaves because it makes the stew look pretty. I also read that it helps protect the health of your brain, so I put it in my nose. My second favorite spice is cardamom. Now, cardamom was introduced to me by my mother. She loves to put it in her tea. Did you know that cardamom originates from India too? And also, cardamom and black pepper are called the king and queen of all spices. This is really amazing. What do you call it in Uganda? <laughs> Larry, I, I guess I didn't do my research as well as you did, but I have another fact. So 
the cardamom is from the family of ginger and it has been used for 4,000 years. Can you imagine? Mm. <laughs> Are you surprised or? Yeah. <laughs> and what is it called in your part of the world? You can go to our social media platforms and tell us. Especially mine. Cinnamon. Larry, have you ever entered a bakery and the smell of cinnamon is floating in the room? Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah. I love cinnamon flavored pastries. And I love pastries. Now, when they're cinnamon flavored, amazing. And now, my fourth favorite spice is lavender. Lavender. How did you guess? Oh my That's goodness. because when you are this, when I was the spice guard, and you put some in your pocket. Oh yes, I love the smell of lavender in the house and around me. Lavender is a spice that belongs to the mint family. So many relatives have talked about today. And did you know that lavender represents purity, grace, oh. and devotion? I thought it meant like a color only. Yeah, the color too, but these facts are really amazing and there are so many more facts about lavender yeah so you should read about it and introduce it to your home that's it little farmers enough about spices now we'd like to hear from you so tell us where you are watching from and what your favorite episodes have been we have still so many farms to visit so stay with us Thank you so much, boys and girls, for staying to the end. And I'd like to thank my Shedda farms for, for hosting us till this very day. And I, I your hosts, Larry and, and Hava. Hava. Till next time, on a different place somewhere in Uganda, on another beautiful farm, Little Farmers Show. If you'd like any of our cool merchandise, you can visit our website and you'll find out how to get some. Okay, be sure to watch the Little Farmers Africa show next time. Bye bye, bye, -bye and see you. We little cheeky, walk on the farm and laugh amazing. Cars and dress to the touch of green. It's fun for all and proper green. On the Little Farmers show, we farm will let me grow. Your favorite children show.